gentlemen, welcome, welcome to Renee Box Young, a platform where we simply discuss, critique, and analyze and simply talk about sport of boxing in a level headed, mature, coherent fashion. Definitely subscribers since day one. Recent subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Flash Lives. You know the premieres of my videos such as this. Playback family, salute. Thank you so much for commenting in the comment sections of the videos. Um, if, it's, if it's your first time here, man, go ahead and subscribe. If you love the sport of boxing, it's as simple as that. This is the place for you. Go ahead and hit the notification bell so you know when I push content such as this, you know what I'm saying, when I do my Flash Lives, et cetera, et cetera, right? So definitely, man, we don't war with other platforms. We just love the sport of boxing. We talk about it. Simple as that, man. Everybody's welcome, you know what I'm saying? So I want to talk about um, I want to talk about Andy Reese, man. Um, you know, some news is coming out, and it seems like it's clouded out, you know what I'm saying, um, with the whole, you know, Spence Ugas uh, definite unification, uh, welterweight division fight, amazing stuff, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of... You know, just generally speaking, a lot of news that's going on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rowley and Tank recently had their press conference or what have you. And, you know, the buildup of other fights and things of that nature, announcements and stuff like that. And uh, amongst these announcements and amongst, and why am I talking about this? Because it's, it's the sport of boxing. It's news, right? So that's why I want to, you know, chop this up a little bit. Just give my input on it, you know, my two cents on it. And like I said, man, um, it's a coherent, you know, it's my, it's just as a boxing fan. It's just as a boxing fan. I got to, I got to say this first. Like, you know, I always have my respect for all fighters out there. There is what you have, like, you know, it's, it seems like throughout the years I've seen, um, and I don't know, maybe some people out there, like I said, man, I'm the one who knows least out here, uh, out of all these platforms, man. Everybody else is an expert. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't consider myself nearly an expert in the sport, but it seems like throughout the years you got fighters who are prize fighters and you got other fighters who are just like, you know, um, you know, they, they fight for legacy. You know what I'm saying? Those, those prize fighter guys, you know, it seems like they just uh, fight big names out of prime names or what have you, do a lot of hype to pull in fans and make big money fights, um, but not necessarily highly competitive fights. You see what I'm saying? There's probably more to that definition, but whatever. You, you know what I'm saying. So, and then you got fighters who are like, you know, legacy fighters who really go out there, you know, and fight the top and they want to prove legacy. And you got you got a select few of them out there. And I'm sure you know the names, okay? I don't have to do the, the list of names or whatever, but and and from all divisions, you got the names. And women fight women pro boxing also. Definitely, man. You know the names. I'm sure you know the names there too. So you got a nice list of names there too who really fight for legacy. It seems like more women pro boxers fight for legacy. Because the thing here is that, you know, women I've said this for, you know, a couple years at least, um, that, you know, you check out my channel, you know, go way back. Uh, you, I've talked about how, you know, women, and everybody knows it, you know, pro boxers, they don't really get the, the, the limelight they deserve and, you know, uh, the, the, the revenue. You know what I'm saying? The, the purses aren't nearly as much as, uh, you know, male pro boxers because, yeah, it is what it is. It's just how it is. So, you know, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, woman pro boxers, I don't think there are many, like, I guess you can say prize fighters there. Um, but in, in, in male pro boxing, you kind of see that, you know, for an example, you, uh, just give you a quick example. I think Connor Ben is one of those guys, you know, just a prize fighter. I, if I'm not mistaken, they, they have used that term with him too. If I'm not mistaken, Connor Ben himself in some press conferences, interviews, whatever, he's talked about that term prize fighting, you know, getting them names that, you know, they're, they're just known, uh, very popular names, but not necessarily top quality names. You see what I'm saying? seems like Connor Ben's going that route. You know what I'm saying? You got some fighters out there that do that. So why am I saying this? Andy Reese, um, it kind of looks like he's going that route. I want to make this, you know, video about that. You know what I'm saying? Just breaking it down and where's what what's going on with Andy Reese? You know what I'm saying? Kind of want to give that perspective concerning him. You know what I'm saying? My perspective concerning Andy Reese. Um, you got, you know, the biggest fights in my humble opinion for Andy Reese have been the Anthony Joshua fights. You know, th those, you know, remember you go back a little bit. Uh, Andy Reese, man, he was with Top Rank. He left top rank, and when he left top rank shortly after that, man, he got the wonderful opportunity. If I'm not mistaken, I think he fought one fight in PBC. I really don't remember, but he left top rank. I know that, and shortly after that, he fought Anthony Joshua, you know, because, of, you know, Big Baby Miller popping dirty, drugged up to the gills. Oh, my gosh, horrible, but, um, you know, he popped dirty. He had to get the heck out of here, you know what I'm saying? Andy Reese replaced, uh, you know, uh, Big Baby Miller. Wonderful, amazing opportunity for Andrew Ruiz and, and beating Anthony Joshua in impressive fashion. Okay, everybody knows the story. And then, you know, about around six months later, if I'm not mistaken, sometime after that, you know, they have the rematch, you know, and Andrew Reese, this is this is the thing that gets this is why I think that Andrew Reese, man, in the heavyweight division, I don't think he's gonna I really don't know, man. It's hard to say. Just just as it is, you got some nice names in the wealth in the heavyweight division, right? You got some really good names up there. Um, top five, right? Really good names in top five. Um but the heavyweight division, in my humble opinion, it's probably not as hot as 
you know, maybe 154, 135, you know, 147. You see what I'm saying? You got other divisions that are really, really more competitive names in the top five, top 10 or what have you. That's just my opinion, okay, in the heavyweight division. So, you know, the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, and as of late, okay, so Anthony Joshua, he rematches Anthony Joshua, right? Um, a long time ago, whenever the heck that was, right? Yeah, you know the story. He loses. Uh, Robles, if I'm not mistaken, Manny Robles, um, his former coach, right, trainer. Um, I pushed a video on it. I broke it down, um, you know, or I think I went live, you know, some time ago around that time when Manny Robles came out and talked about how Andrew Reese wasn't really disciplined, you know. Um, and I really don't know if Andrew Reese is still in Canelo's camp. I think he is, but it's kind of, I don't know, man. I don't know. Andrew Reese, he, you know, he, 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 he had his limelight. He had his, you know, the peak of his career. This is what I'm trying to say here. I think the peak of uh, Andy Reese's career was with Anthony Joshua, man. Lost the belts, and he just had, he just, it just seems like he couldn't come back like he could, you know, like he should have, you know. And then turns around and fights a Chris Ariola, right? In that pay per view event, what have you. Um, and he didn't look so, you know what I'm saying? Um, as that hungry Andy Reese. He didn't look like that hungry Andy Reese that fought Anthony Joshua for the first time. That's, that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, leaves again for like another year, you know, and now is coming back to fight this guy, Tyrone Spong. Now, I know people out there, man, upon hearing this maybe, and I think a lot, some people are saying it, you know, Tyrone Spong, who is this trash can? And what a, who is this tomato can? Or whatever the heck the terms they use out there, you know what I'm saying? For fighters that aren't really known and, you know, um, I'm not going to do that. I never do that, you know, with fighters some respect to Tyrone, you know, but what I'm trying to say here is this, man, it's not, he's not even in the top 15, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, he's not in the top 15, he's an undefeated fighter, but who, who cares, you know what I'm saying, like, the thing here is that I expected Andy Reese to have a, you know, a, a, a better fight than this, you know, I know that people come, can come to the rescue for Andy Reese, and it's great, you know, whatever, you know, but he has had some injuries as of late, as of, you know, several months ago, or uh, operation on his knee, or what have you, or wherever the heck it was, he has had some injuries, I think plural, you know, so I understand that, but there was some, you know, word going around, and, you know, about, and I think Andy Reese, if I remember correctly, I just don't know, because there's so many platforms, so many, you know, sources out there that, you know, post things, and I'm not sure if Andy Reese, uh, you know, dabbled with the, the possibility of fighting against uh, King Kong Ortiz, man. That would have been way better than Tyrone Spawn, man. You know, that, that's what I'm trying to say, too. That's another point I want to talk about. That, you know, the opponents that Andy Reese, it seems like from since after the rematch, you know, with Anthony Joshua, coming back and fighting Chris Ariola. Chris Ariola, man, I mean... All due respect, but at this point, at this point when they, at the point when they fought, and way before that, Chris Ariola is not really, you know, what I'm saying like, you know, top notch. I mean, I know the tune-up fights, and you know, I get it. He fought Anthony Joshua twice, man. I respect that. That's you know, that's major stuff right there, you know. And then coming around fighting Chris Ariola, okay, I get it, you know, what I'm saying. But this is where I, this is like the limit for me as a fan. Now you're gonna fight Tyrone Spong, okay? This guy, I think, is from the Netherlands. Uh, I think he's undefeated, too. Like I said, it doesn't really matter if he's undefeated or not because, you know, um, an O on a fighter's record doesn't, you know, that's great, but it's not everything, okay? It's not everything. You know, for example, you got some fighters out there, man. They got a couple losses, and they have, you know, wonderful careers. That wonderful careers. Tyrone Spung, man, the names he's fought from the Netherlands and stuff like that, and that's great, you know what I'm saying? Salute to the Netherlands, but it doesn't matter if you're undefeated. And I think that, they, you know, I think they chose him. Obviously, they, you know, fighters and teams, they choose fighters in a really, you know, in a real methodical manner. I'm, I'm sure they're saying, oh, you know, he's an undefeated guy, you know. Uh, he's, you know, 14-0 and 0 or however many fights he has, right? He's undefeated, so that's going to look good for you, Andy Reese. It's going to look good in your resume because you fought, you beat an undefeated fighter or what have you. Well, they haven't fought yet, obviously. It's going to be in July, so. And it's in Triller, okay? So why did I mention this whole prize fighting stuff before? Because it looks like Andy Reese is going that route. I know that fighters, man, they got to, you know, they got to eat. You know, their kids got to eat. And, you know, I, I understand that, man. You know, that you, they got to they gotta make money. You know, and I got nothing against that. You know what I'm saying? We've got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, these fighters, man, and Andy Reese. We're talking about Andy Reese, so he has like 30 some odd fights. It's quite a bit, man. That's quite a bit of fights, you know what I'm saying? The the road to the top, that's why I respect fighters, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, the road to the top, it's a long road, man. It's it's a long road. It's 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 a tough road, it's a lonely road, it's a lot of tears that we as fans don't really see, you know what I'm saying? And many fans really don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's me, but a lot of fans really don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? They just want to see great fights, and that's that's me. I do want to see great fights, but I also I understand it's a it's a it's a long tough journey in the sport of boxing 
not a lot make it to the top, ladies and gentlemen. Not a lot of fighters, you know, really get them the nice paychecks that they desire to see, you know. Which is why I understand, you know, I understand that. But me as a fan, I really do want to see, you know, uh, fighters go for the gusto and make legacy, you know. And Andy Reese, it seems like he's not going to really do that anymore. You know, and I understand he's gonna he's there to make his money, man. You know, uh, and that's why I think he took this trailer thing, the trailer Fight Club stuff. I guess trailer. I really don't care about trailer. You know what I'm saying? But they're making. Uh, you know, I think I think um, Andy Reese and this Tyrone Spawn guy fight. I think that's the main event, if I'm not mistaken. And if it's not, you know, whatever. I really don't care. But I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna watch that fight. But who knows? You know, I'm a sucker for the sport. It's gonna be in Mexico. Hey, good stuff. But um, you know. It's going to be a pay-per-view fight, if I'm not mistaken, too, at a pay-per-view event, man. <laughs> I mean, you know. But, you know, it's really going to have the the the, heart, the artists in there, the hip-hop and stuff like that, I guess. Or I don't know, man, what they're doing. I really don't care. I don't really don't like, I don't really don't like the events and how they do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have seen, however, some a couple good fights, you know, in Triller, you know, in the undercards and stuff like that. But, you know what I mean? So, I, I think they're going to have Andy Ruiz and, and Tyrone Spong as the main event. And, you know, of course, Andy Ruiz is going to go for that money. You know, um... Several fighters do it. They've gone to Triller to make that money. It's just it's just an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just an opportunity that he's going for. But, you know, I don't see Andy Reese really making any more legacy in his career. And I think it's a sad thing. Going back to, to for you know, going back for a moment uh, on what Manny Robles, former trainer, you know, said about Andy. So he's, he's just he's just undisciplined. You know, he doesn't show up to training. He doesn't he, you know, he comes late. And, you know, he, he had he had trouble with uh, Manny Robles. After the first Anthony Joshua fight and win, you know, he, he started just, he get, got complacent with all the money, the fame, and yada, yada, yada. Is Andy Ruiz head towards that? I think so, man. I think he's just not going to, you know, go more in his career as far as legacy fights. And going back to what I was saying a moment ago, the King Kong Ortiz fight, man, that would have been great for Andy Ruiz. Even though King Kong, he's out of it. It's over. He's over the hill. He's been over the hill, ladies and gentlemen. You know, his last fight against uh, Charles Martin, if I'm not mistaken, right? I mean, it showed big time. And I really didn't, you know, I didn't even talk about, Char uh, you know, uh, King Kong Ortiz and Charles Martin fight. I really did not in the lead up, you know, because I kind of thought in the back of my head, I didn't push anything, though, any content concerning it. But I thought, you know, King Kong Ortiz, he's, he's, he's out of it, man. It's over. It's over for him. Over the hill. Uh, of course, he can keep fighting. Not over for him in the, in the sense of that, you know not fighting anymore ever you know and in the sport you know but as far as you know fighting the top no nah, i don't think he, he can he can he can fare well against the top names the top top five approximately right um but andy reese against king kong ortiz for andy reese's sake and keeping the momentum going would have been great that's what i'm trying to say it would have been great for andy reese to, to get king kong ortiz why didn't he choose him why didn't they fight uh who the heck knows but that was being dabbled for months so that's what i'm saying man there has been talks about you know andy reese you know dabbling with the you know big names up there um but king kong ortiz would have been great and, and i recall man correct me if i'm wrong but i think it was andy reese also who mentioned something like that you know would you like to see me and you know king kong get on get it on or whatever the heck he said i think he said it i think he posted it on twitter or something like that some time ago um that would have been nice for andy reese you know and i'm saying but lo and behold uh, he's fighting this tyrone spawn guy Tyrone Spong, yeah, I'm, I'm really not excited about this, man. Definitely not. And what's next for Andy Ruiz? Only him and his team knows. You know what I'm saying? Only he knows what's going on. Um, I'm sure he's going to use this to see where he's at, you know, physically speaking, you know, performance-wise and how he does against Tyrone Spong. Even though Tyrone Spong is not, you know, the best barometer, you know, it's not, it's not really, I don't know, man. Tyrone Spong, I'm not excited at all. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what's next? Maybe Andy Ruiz is going to do this prize fighting stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, make deals, maybe run to the zone, get a get a nice fight there. I'm sorry, a nice paycheck from a whatever, you know, you know, any other name out there that's probably not the top 15. Um, or maybe in the lower tier of the top 15. I kind of see that with Andy Reese, you know, from now on. You know, since the second Anthony Joshua fight, you know, but but we'll see, man. Hey, I wish the best for Andy Reese. I really do hope that it's it's the contrary. I hope I'm proven wrong. And I've said it so many times when it comes to certain, you know, analysis, when it comes to certain you know, I guess you can call it predictions I make. Uh, I hope I'm proven wrong. You know, I really do. I really do. And I, my utmost respect for Andy Reese, man, and what he has done in his career. But I think he's reached his peak. 
And these types of things, man, make me respect those fighters who are really reaching out, you know, going for legacy more, a lot more. You know what I'm saying? For example, just a quick example. Errol Spence recently said, I don't even know tune-ups. You know, tune-ups are for people who don't have, you know, have confidence in themselves or whatever he said on Twitter, right? I'm paraphrasing. But this is why I respect those kinds of fighters a lot more, man. I really do. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, um, I wish the best for Andy Reese, man. And I hope he really does have a better fight uh, after this Tyrone Spung guy, you know. But if he's just going to be a prize fighter from now on and just go for those big paychecks and really not fight for legacy, that's great. That's his thing. But, you know, for me, I'm not really interested in it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, what do you guys think, man? Do you guys think Andy Reese is really going to fight, you know, a formidable opponent after this Tyrone Spung event fight, thriller thing? You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. It's hard to say. But I'm not so sure of it. I'm not so sure of it. You know what I'm saying? So, what do you guys think? I really want to hear your comments. Go ahead and comment in the comment section. Those who tuned in in the premiere, I appreciate y'all. Man, Renee Box, second platform. We're simply discuss, critique, and analyze. Simply talk about sport boxing and level headed, mature, coherent fashion. Definitely, man. All subscribers, I appreciate y'all. If this is your first time, remember, this is a platform that just chops up the sport of boxing. We love it. If you love it, this is the place for you. Hit the notification bell so you know when I push my content, such as this, my flash lives, etc., etc. You can follow me also on Instagram in my intro video and outro video, my new one. Uh, you can check out my 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 handles there. You can go home and follow me there. Instagram, Twitter, you know what I'm saying? We can chop it up there also. I man, thank you guys so much, Renee Box. Peace out. Hey, stay safe.